everyone and welcome to All Things Watch. In this video we are going to talk about the brand new movie Fly Me to the Moon and this is basically sort of like a rom-com. It's kind of romantic, it's kind of comedy and I had a lot of fun with this movie which is kind of crazy because rom-coms are like my least favorite genre. I would never really sign up to go see a comedy or a romance. Uh, so when you combine the two, romantic comedy, I mean yes I do watch them for the sake of this channel so that I can talk about them. I, I want the content to be a little diverse. I, you know, obviously I'm a big superhero fan, I'm a big sci-fi fan, uh, so I do like to do these reviews anyways just for the sake of sort of, you know, pleasing the audience who do like rom-coms or uh, romance or comedies, uh, you know, even if they're independently. Uh, but honestly I had a lot of fun with this one. This was a great movie that had a great cast. Scarlett Johansson, of course, portraying a character known as Kelly Jones and she is basically a salesperson in this movie and her job is to sell the moon landing to the people. Literally as a sales pitch whereas Channing Tatum is in this movie and he did a phenomenal job as well he portrays a character known as Cole Davis and he is actually an astronaut who's working with NASA trying to actually go to the moon and then of course you throw Woody Harrelson in here who portrays a character known as Mo and he's basically like uh, sort of like a Secret Service type agent I don't know if he's necessarily actually with the Secret Service but he is with a uh, agency that works directly uh, to the president and of course this is a period piece. Uh, Ray Romano was in this one as well. Great to see Ray. Uh, he portrays a really great character as well. Henry Smalls and he's sort of a part of, he's kind of all over the place. He's kind of like working with Cole and also Kelly. So he's kind of like a, almost like a neutral type character. But uh, Ray Romano did a phenomenal job with his character as well. And this whole movie does take place, I believe it was back in the 60s. Uh, I believe it was uh, when, you know, we had the space race, during the space race age with, you know, the Americans, uh, you know, the Russians, the Chinese, everybody's trying to get to the moon, everybody's trying to get to space in this movie, so I really enjoyed that it was a period piece as well, but I thought all the performances were really well done, and I really liked the chemistry between Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum. Like I said, Woody Harrelson, when he's on screen, he steals the show, and so does Ray Romano, but neither one of these stars, although they're all superstars in their own way, I felt like their chemistry was done in a way where it really worked. The characters were written in a way where no of the stars in my opinion really overshone any of the other stars they all fit perfectly the way that Woody Harrelson would use he would use perfectly he came and go when he was there he stole the scene but then he went away and he didn't steal the whole movie if that makes sense Ray Romano same thing when he's there he steals the scene steals the show uh, but still does not take away from Cole or Kelly which are the two main characters of the movie and I absolutely loved all the performances. The rating was pretty good, as uh, the, the writing was pretty decent as well, and so was the directing. But I really think that Jim Rash was a really big standard as well. He is sort of that comedic relief uh, in the movie. You know, every time he's on screen, he's really funny. He portrays a character known as Lance Vespertine, I believe is how you pronounce that name, and he is actually a director. So he's going to be working with Kelly Jones to try to sell this uh, moon landing to the audience. So basically, really the idea of the movie is that you have the real NASA of the actual astronauts trying to make it to the moon but you have NASA being a little bit concerned and worried that maybe something will happen and it will fail so they hire Kelly Jones and her team uh, so it's Mo who hires her and her team uh, and so she brings on the director Lance to recreate the moon landing in a fake way so you actually have the real moon landing combined with the fake moon landing uh, which I knew I thought was really clever because they sort of play into the conspiracy theories how a lot of people think that the moon landing was fake and I really like how this movie actually sort of juggles both of the ideas. Maybe it is real, maybe it's not real, and I really had a lot of fun of, at seeing, you know, how they sort of made this story out of it and called it Fly Me to the Moon. I thought it was a very appropriate title. And honestly, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I thought, like I said, I thought I thought it was a really cool idea to have the real s space race and then combine with, well, what if, what happens if we don't make it? It would be like global catastrophe. We would look like fools while Russia and China is trying to get up there and everything. And so they hire Kelly uh, and whatnot. And honestly, Scarlett Johansson's role was phenomenal. She portrays Kelly Jones and she's such a likable character but also such a deceiving character so you really like her but she's really good at her job she could sell you anything you know she could sell snow to an Eskimo type thing you know or water to a fish and then you have Channing Tatum's character
character who's very scientific and very serious and he's an actual astronaut so he takes his job with NASA very serious he you know uh, is very you know prominent with the idea that you know we are trying to change the world here this science this technology this this knowledge will be used to change the world and if we can really do something like this actually literally land on the moon uh, you know this would be life-changing and so you have him who takes this very serious uh, side and then you have her who's like you know sort of taking the commercial route you know the Hollywood route so to speak trying to sell the idea uh, where he's actually trying to really do the idea and I just really thought it was such a compelling awesome story and I absolutely loved all the chemistry all the writing and I honestly thought the directing for this movie was done really well too and the comedy, I thought, because for someone like me who's not a huge comedy fan, I thought that they utilized the comedy and even the funny aspects, uh, the, the comedy and the romantic, sorry, the romance, the romance of the movie. I thought they utilized it in a very good, creative way. So I wouldn't go as far as saying that this is straight up romance, but it's also not straight up comedy either. There are even times in this movie where I was almost on the edge of my seat, especially during the third act when they're trying, when you actually get to the part where they're actually going to now try to land on the moon while down on earth you actually have Kelly Jones and her uh, you know and her team trying to simulate them going to the moon so you had these two events going on at the same time and there were parts of those scenes when I was actually kind of like on the edge of my seat I was like wow they really shot this really well it was put together really well and it really sucked me into the adventure and all the actors and all the performances in my opinion did a phenomenal job if I had to put a, a number on fly me to the moon I would give this at least a 65% if not even higher maybe even a 70 uh, but I really enjoyed this one this is a great movie to sit back on a Sunday afternoon and watch uh, if you're you know if you got a little bit of time to kill and you are someone who's kind of like myself not really a diehard romantic comedy fan but enough where I would give it a shot then I would recommend this one and honestly it was refreshing to see this type of movie because it was something that was relatively original this is not another big IP movie or you know this is not uh, you know them trying to recreate something this was actually a very fresh very cool very new idea and honestly I'm here for it I really enjoyed it so let me know in the comment section below if you've seen fly me to the moon and if you liked it tell me why or why not if you like this video click that subscribe button and until the next one take care